G'day Marshmallows, my name is Oscar and this is the Coco Couch. We are going to be watching Avatar. Oh, I haven't seen it in a really long time. I do remember this being like the biggest spectacle when it came out. People are like, oh, the movie's super overhyped. I get it. I get it. Like it isn't a perfect movie. I just feel like that was one of those cinema experiences you'll never forget. Going to cinemas and watching Avatar for the first time when I was really young with my family, nothing else tops that as far as cinema experiences go. Yeah, I just really love this movie. So without further ado, let's jump into it. When I was lying there in the VA hospital, I started having these dreams of flying. I was free. Hmm. Sooner or later though. You always have to wake up. Yeah, right. Oh yeah, we're watching the extended edition, by the way. <laughs> they can fix a spinal if you got the money. But not on vet benefits. Not in this economy. Yeah, I imagine in this kind of futuristic society, they've got the technology to do anything, but it's just so expensive, this just kind of no point. I told myself I can pass any test a man can pass. And he was having dreams of flying when he was he was at the hospital or whatever for his legs. Oh, dude. Strong prey on the weak. Yeah. So cowardly to be someone that you know is like more dominating physically and then you abuse people that are weaker. Yeah. Dang, bro. He's giving it to him. Oh, what? Why would they throw him out? What the hell? Hey, I do not want to live in this world. <laughs> That's where they found him. Doesn't look like him. It's him. It's about your brother. Gee, imagine finding out that way. I'd like to talk to you about taking over his contract. And since your genome is identical to his, you could step into his shoes. It's a good choice of words. In a new world. You could do something important. That's super appealing, hey, for someone who's literally looking for something to fight for. He was the one who wanted to get shot light years out in space to find the answers. I was just another dumb grunt getting sent someplace he was going to regret. It's sad because I feel like he undervalues what he can contribute, you know? But I imagine if people are tossing you out of a bar every other night, you wouldn't value yourself as much. Doesn't feel like six years. More like a fifth of tequila and an ass kicking. It's interesting to see the way that a military guy describes things like this, like scientific things. It's kind of what makes most of this movie so interesting is his point of view on things. I love this shot too. It shows uh, Pandora through the reflection of the ship. You grew up hearing about it, but I never figured I'd be going there. You grew up hearing about it. Right, so this has been a thing for quite some time. Right, so I imagine the ship just orbits Pandora and then heads straight back to Earth or something and they do like cycles. You have to admit, like, for all that people say about this movie, they do a really good job at building, I guess, the reality of the world that they're in. Mate, the size of those trucks. It's so sad, hey, it's like even straight from the start, you can see how much damage humans have caused on this lush planet. I wonder at this point whether they'd be able to like terraform the planet so that they can breathe without using masks. Which thing is an ex-marine? Maybe out, but you never lose the attitude. Yeah. Let's go, special case. Do not make me wait for you. Gee, special case. These guys were army dogs fighting for freedom. Look out, hot rod. But out here, they're just hired guns, taking the money. Yeah. What other reason would you have to be there other than either money or just exploring a new planet, right? It's unfortunate that the reality in this movie is most of these guys are there for the money. You are on Pandora. If there is a hell, you might want to go there for some R&R &R after a tour on Pandora. <laughs> oh, that would terrify me. Every living thing that crawls, flies, or squats in the mud wants to kill you and eat your eyes for jujubes. It's kind of cool that the window behind him and the panels shape an American flag. <laughs> You need to cultivate a strong mental attitude. <laughs> yes, yeah, see, it looks like an American flag. Rule number one. It's nothing like an old school safety brief to put your mind at ease. Love that. His attitude compared to everyone else. Everyone's like really uptight and kind of scared. And he's just like, 
Ah, oh, I feel like I'm back home. Like <laughs> these remotely controlled bodies called avatars, grown from human DNA, mixed with the DNA of the natives. The fact that this technology is even like something people come up with creatively is insane to me. Looks like him. Looks like you. <laughs> Every driver is matched to his own avatar, so that their nervous systems are in tune. I can link with Tommy's avatar, which is insanely expensive. <laughs> expensive, yeah. I imagine that technology is just insanely expensive. Well, here I am. Doing science. And dang, he's contracted to be there for six years. Ah, here she is, in another alien movie. <laughs> I need your brother. You know, the PhD who trained for three years for this mission? He's dead. No. <laughs> I know it's a big inconvenience for everyone. Yeah, I'm his brother. I mean, they're just pissing on us without even the courtesy of calling it rain. I'm going to Selfridge. No. Hell's Gate Tower, you are cleared for South Departure. Hover I bet they're investing so much money into getting unobtainium. <laughs> it's such a weird name for a metal. Now I see that you're intentionally screwing me. I need a researcher, not some jarhead dropout. I thought we got lucky with him. Lucky? Yeah. I agree with him. You're supposed to be winning the hearts and the minds of the natives. Isn't that the whole point of your little puppet show? Relations with the indigenous are only getting worse. Yeah, that tends to happen when you use machine guns on them. It's interesting to see the tendency that humans have to colonize and get rid of the native people. It's interesting seeing it, like, applying to the scenario of humans going to different planets. This is why we're here. Unobtainium. Because this little grey <laughs> rock sells for 20 million a kilo. You can just feel the writers trying to explain to the audience. And you're supposed to be finding a diplomatic solution. So use what you've got and get me some results. The only reason they even have scientists on this planet is to basically get the native people out of the way. It's so sad. This is cool. Let's go. So you just figured you'd come out here to the most hostile environment known to man. See how it went? Maybe I was sick of doctors telling me what I couldn't do. <laughs> He's not completely clueless, right? It's a good thing that they've got someone who can become a Na'vi without being a scientist for once. I think they need different kinds of people. Ah, oh, these sort of visuals make me dizzy. His face is so big. Nice and easy, Jake. And touch your thumb to your finger. Mm, yeah. Nope. Your finger. So he's been doing these exercises for a while now. Norm. Okay. Are you feeling any numbness or pain? <laughs> for sensory motor reflex tests, we need to run. To nope. <laughs> Stuff the tests. You, have, you need time to adjust to the end. Sedate! Sedate him! Dang, their first thing to do is try to sedate him. You're not used to your avatar body. This is dangerous. This is great. <laughs> I just don't care. Mate, the way that they go by so many small, intricate things to make sure that they transfer correctly. But hey, it's like sometimes you just gotta fly, you know? Come on! <laughs> <laughs> and this is why having a marine is useful. Oh, Sorry. Watch it. Yeah, he doesn't give a damn. I mean, my guy has ba he hasn't had legs, basically, for years, right? Hey, I hate this first reaction, damn. Think fast. Oh. <laughs> I love how she isn't even like sketched out about the situation. She she loves it. She's just like, wow, this guy is gutsy. See you at dinner, kitties. It's kinda cool they just sleep in their own tents while they're not riding the avatar bodies. Welcome back. Uh, the first thing he looks at is his legs. The disappointment, man. I'm gonna need you on a door gun. I'm a man short. Thought you'd never ask. <laughs> <laughs> See you on the flight line. She seems really cool. I guess that's what it's like though in the military, right? Everyone has similar experiences, right? So there's just this camaraderie and respect amongst everyone. This low gravity will make you soft. You get soft. Dang, dude. I pulled your record, Corporal. Venezuela, that was some mean bush. Figured it's just another hellhole. Three tours in Nigeria, not a scratch. I come out here, day one. You know what? I kind of like it. I mean, gotta admit, it does look, make him look pretty badass, that scratch. Recon gyre in an avatar body. Oh, that's a potent mix. 
Could provide the intel I need. Right in the hostiles camp. Hostiles. Wow. Learn these savages from the inside. I want you to gain their trust. Trying to put myself in the shoes of any person that comes here for the first time. All they're hearing is this propaganda, right? That like these natives are savages and they're hostiles and stuff like that. Like 95% of the people here would have never seen one in person, right? So it's just like this lie that just gets sped around, right? Mate, I feel so claustrophobic in that. <laughs> Mate, you'd be so on your toes, right? Like all the time, just seeing all these different species of animals. Well, they're doing their job, making sure it's safe. Mate, I feel like arriving in a helicopter like that, or whatever it is, would draw so many predators to that area. How will they know we're here? I'm sure they're watching us right now. Damn, really? Picked up English faster than I could teach it. And, uh, soil probe, uh... I'm just wondering whether the, the natives of this planet are, like, more intelligent and they have, like, better learning capacity than humans, right? Learned as much about us as they needed to. Yep. What happened here? You gonna help us with this gear? We've got a lot to do. Hmm. Obviously he doesn't want to talk about it. So, that is signal transduction from this route to the root of the tree. <laughs> I'm in the same boat as him. Science. Uh Can I just go climb a tree or something? <laughs> so are these like flycatcher sort of plants? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a- he's like a child. Oh, hello. It, it's- it's legs look like thumbs. It's a territorial threat display. Do not run or he'll charge. So what do I do? Dance with it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mate, he's gutsy. Oh yeah, who's bad? That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about, bitch. <laughs> Dude, I don't- it's not you, mate. That is a terrifying thing to turn around and see. Run, don't run, what? Run, definitely run! You just assume that he's dead after this. Mate, it's a good thing he's so small compared to it. Gee, it's so aggressive, man. Please go away. Give up. <laughs> Gee. Bro, you, you just gotta go somewhere else, man. Book it. Book it. Was that the T Rex sound effect? Ah, <laughs> oh, he lost his pack, which probably has a bunch of survival gear in it, too. Yeet. Mate, how desperate is that thing? He's small enough for it to be able to hunt, right? And it doesn't have massive armor like the other creatures did. But he's still big enough to be like a good meal. Oh, yeah, dude, I'd, I'd be so anxious. Good luck with your stick, buddy. <clears throat> oh, hi. The fact that you don't hear a thing from her. Like, she's, she doesn't even look like she's struggling. Jellyfish. Yes, the the thing that represents the spiritual entity in this planet is a jellyfish <laughs> that floats around in the air. Sorry, Doc. He's just gonna have to hang on till morning. He won't make it till morning. There goes several billion dollars or something like that. <laughs> Probably more. Is that meant to be Jupiter, or is this in a completely different, like, galaxy with a planet like Jupiter? <laughs> He's so scared. I mean, they did get far more aggressive straight away, didn't they, as soon as he lit it on fire. They're like hyenas. Gosh. 
It's a good thing they aren't any bigger. Gee, those things look like they could just rip your arm off. Ah, oh, the teeth are so sharp. I don't have a goddamn knife. <laughs> Gee, they listened. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole pack, mate. Easy. <laughs> Mate, she's a great fighter. <laughs> yeah, you don't need your light now, don't you, buddy? Everything glows in this forest. Thank you. I must stop now. That was pretty impressive. She understood that. <laughs> hey, slow down. I say thanks for killing those things. Ah! This is sad. Very sad only. Whatever I did, I am sorry. <laughs> Never say that in an argument to a woman. <laughs> Whatever I did, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like, dude. If you love your little forest friends, why not let them just kill my ass? Why save me? Yeah, yeah why save me? You have a strong heart. No fear. But stupid. Ignorant like a child. If I was starting from scratch, I prefer to be stupid and brave than really intelligent and a coward, you know? You should not be here. Go back. Ooh, that first bite. <laughs> Jellyfish. <laughs> they came back with friends. They're like, this is the chosen one, guys. I told you. <laughs> Dana. Ah! Why'd he hit me? What kind of moisturizer does he use? Very pure spirit. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. She's not really processing why they're there yet. She's just amazed that they're even there at all. Yeah, I imagine from her perspective now, she's just like, this guy is very, very important. <laughs> I don't know why yet, but I need to protect him. He's like a baby. <laughs> What's your name? Dang, look at those horses, bro. They look like part ant eaters. <laughs> yeah, I give up. <laughs> I actually do need subtitles. All right, I should probably chuck these on. I'll just leave the subtitles on, who cares? What's happening is you're being abducted. <laughs> Now that's a tree right there. When I was growing up and I asked for a tree house, that's what I meant. <laughs> What's he saying? My father is deciding whether to kill you. <laughs> Make a good impression, buddy. It's nice to meet you, sir. Oh, come on, bro. <laughs> so dumb. Ew! Does it taste good? It is hard to fill a cup which is already full. Well, my cup is empty. Trust me. Yeah. Smart. <laughs> my daughter will teach you our ways. Learn well, Jake Sully. Best deal ever. He got so lucky just now. Like, it's interesting because she's like, it's hard to teach someone who has a cup that's already full, right? And I felt, I feel like that's because so many of the people they've met so far don't want to give up their way of living, right? <clears throat> when you thought that the native people couldn't get any more chill, they have hammocks that they sleep in. That's so cool. Mate, <laughs> you'd feel like such. A close part of the community sleeping near other people all the time. Come on, that's it. There you go. Is the avatar safe? <laughs> yeah, Doc. <laughs> you are not gonna believe where I am. Yeah, man, he's gonna have some stories to tell. Is this Marine's ass disappearing into the brush with this angry Thanator coming after him? <laughs> it's not something you can teach. That is awesome. <laughs> 
He's earned everyone's respect now. Hey, I'm practically family. You're gonna study me. I have to learn to be one of them. That's called taking the initiative, <clears throat> son. I wish I had ten more like you. Uh, Rhodes? But no, no, no. They like mud. And, and, and that wouldn't bother me. It's not that they don't like mud, mate. It's that they... They know what matters, and it's not materialistic things like you're talking about. Stop. Rich, stop. That's Jesus. Their Dude, damn chill. village happens to be resting on the richest unobtainium deposit within 200 clicks in any direction. What if they won't go? Oh, I'm betting that they will. It's a shame they can't just literally move camp to go somewhere across the planet to a place that has more unobta unobtainium that doesn't sacrifice a whole village of people. We'll just Find me a carrot that'll get me to move. Otherwise, it's gonna have to be a little stick. You got three months. That's when the dozers get there. Mate, so the, the dozers are actually on their way currently. That's nuts. Hey, Tiri. Hmm. Sahik, they become a mated pair. Not if I can help it. <laughs> it's made up of all living things. Everything they know. You'd know this if you had any training whatsoever. Just got a date with the chief's daughter. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, Tiri was my best student. She and her sister Sawana, amazing girls. Dang. She's dead. You can see why Natiri was so close to killing him, right? It's like, these are the people that killed my sister. Ugh. No thanks. Ale is female. <laughs> I love that, how he looks underneath, like... No. <laughs> Whoa. The bomb. Feel her. Her breath. You can feel all that. They were to go. Forward. <laughs> Good start. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so frustrating. I hate when something embarrassing happens to you, and like all these people just turn up to see it happen. <laughs> Here in the inner ring is a core structure like a spiral. That's how they move up and down. So where are we going? I'm not about to let Selfridge and Quaritch micromanage this thing. Yeah, he could tell straight away that she knew all about it. The Hallelujah Mountains? That's right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the legendary floating mountains of Pandora? Heard of them? He's so petty. He did all of that just to edit Jake. It's like, dude, you're just, you're yelling at a wall. Means you gotta see where you're going. Can't see anything. <laughs> exactly. Ain't that a bitch. <laughs> Technology doesn't work and you can't see physically. You'd almost have to memorize the layout. Yeah, far out. I wonder what's in the rocks that causes them to float. <laughs> yeah. Is it the unobtainium that's in them that causes them to float? <laughs> yeah, so what does hold them up? Some kind of maglev effect because unobtainium is a superconductor. Mate, it'd be so weird like acting in a production where every so much of it's CGI because you have to like visualize everything so intricately that you believe that it's there so that you produce a genuine reaction to it that's not like fake it's like you believe that it's there it's like the amount of imagination you need to produce right <sighs> how do you make that sound holy shit do not look in her eyes <clears throat> once a halo is made Gran will fly without only one hunter in the whole life Wow, what a connection, eh? So spiritual. You must choose your own Iklan, and he must choose you. When? When you are ready. Yeah, that's like your rite of passage into becoming a true adult, I guess, in this universe. That'd be so crazy, hey, being born as one of these people, and like every day for most of your childhood, you're just seeing adults just flying these dragons around the place. <laughs> like, one day I'll get that. That's nuts. The language is a pain, but, you know, I figure it's like field stripping a weapon. Just repetition, repetition. Naughty. Naughty. 
<laughs> Latiri calls me scoun. It means moron. <laughs> Goody's back on board, but he thinks I'm a scoun too. My feet are getting tougher. I can run farther every day. Good, 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 good. Oh, that's so much trust, hey, in one hand. Every day it's reading the trails, the tracks of the waterhole. She's always going on about the Aww. flow of energy, the spirits of animals. So cute. That's so badass. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> I meant to do that. <laughs> I told Moad into letting Grace into the village. First time since the school was closed down. It's interesting to me that um, Grace, the scientist, as much as her passion and love is science, right, and that's the reason she's there. It's almost like her true calling is to be like a like a, a mother or a teacher. Damn, bro, he's looking hella ripped. Yeah, <laughs> he's sending little signals. Need to take care of this yeah, yeah. body. Okay, yeah, get it. I imagine it becomes so much harder to eat and look after yourself when you're eating all this natural food that makes you feel great. What did happen at the school, Grace? Natiri's sister, Sawana, stopped coming to school. And one day, she and a couple of other young hunters came running in. They had set a bulldozer on fire. They killed Sawana in the doorway, right in front of Natiri. Gee. And then shot the others. They mm. called me. Saw it and look. Reaches back through the link. Poor Grace. Yeah, I think in the extended edition has all the stuff about Interior's sister. In the original, they don't have anything about a sister. Oh, so that's the the thing that determines whether you're ready or not. If you're growing up in this community you're probably able to do that quite young like in your early teens or something learning to ride an ikra we call them banshees test every young hunter has to pass but to do that you gotta go where the banshees are hmm Ooh -rah. <laughs> Ooh -rah. oh dude look at how fast they're climbing they're not even like taking their time they're just yeeting themselves up this thing I wonder how difficult it is for other communities to pass this test, you know, and get their banshee. The way they they walk and run, it just feels like they're floating. <laughs> the others are fine. He's just like, ugh. <laughs> they're catching feelings. Shakespeare will go first. He's the only one that's tired and he's like, you'll go first. It's so rude. Yeah, she's just like, you ass. You will have one chance, Jake. How will I know if he chooses me? He will try to kill you. Outstanding. <laughs> I love that everything is not weird to him anymore. It's just outstanding, you know? He, he loves it. Yeah, smart. Just try to scare them until you find one that's like, nope. Let's go. It has begun. Solid. Ooh. It's not over. Round two. <laughs> I'm trying, okay? There you go. You're mine now. <laughs> First flight seals the bond. You cannot wait. Fly! Fly? <laughs> the confusion in his voice. Fly? <laughs> Yikes. Shut up and fly straight! Oh, there you go. <laughs> you just gotta tell her what to do, bro. She couldn't wait to fly with him. Hey! 
Oh, she's so proud. I think the closer Jake gets to becoming a full member of their tribe, the more she's kind of like hopeful, maybe. I think she didn't really entertain the possibility of being with him romantically because she wasn't sure how successful he'd be. Not be much of a horse guy, but I was born to do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think even people that are passionate about horse riding would jump on a dragon in a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> the flirting. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's so awesome. He should do what uh, Hiccup did and create like a wingsuit so that he can jump off and fly himself. <laughs> I would try Ramunon. Their most sacred place. Really interesting going on in there biologically. I love how out of all of them, Jake looks like a hobo. <laughs> Outsiders are strictly forbidden. You lucky swan. 